Hey guys, it's Jess, and on today's video, we are going to be repotting this catacetum you see right in front of you. And this one is, um, I'll show you guys. This one is the uh, Fred Clark Era Desert Tenor Freckled Cross with Catacetum Orchid Glade Davy Ranches. And. Uh, I showed this one, I think, on like a couple of videos ago, saying that this one was the one with the biggest uh, new growth. And I was waiting. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this. I think I did, but I'm, I'm not really sure. But I said I was doing the Miss Orchid Girl method for this one, waiting for the um, roots to start start soaking up water. But the roots are getting pretty long, and the roots aren't really changing color whenever I spray them. So I'm just going to go ahead and repot it just because if I wait any longer, I might start hurting the roots when I do repot this. So I will be using um, its 3 inch pot that it came with originally and then some packing peanuts and then the Osmocote Plus because a lot of... Um, Catacetum growers actually use this, uh, mix it in with their sphagnum moss just because they're really heavy feeders and they, um, this is the time release fertilizer and they mix it in with their sphagnum moss and then they, um, fertilize like whatever their schedule is, you know, so this just, um, adds extra fertilizer just so you don't have to do it yourself in your, um, or you, you don't have to change your, um, fertilizing schedule so it's easier this way than um, just you know fertilizing more often okay so I will be putting some packing peanuts on the bottom and that I'm just doing this so it can act as drainage um, I guess that's good I can just leave it like that <laughs> And I have my sphagnum moss, and I will be using sphagnum moss. Um, if you guys haven't watched the last video where I said why, uh, why I answered why I like using sphagnum moss, um, I'll go ahead and link that somewhere in the in the screen so you guys can go ahead and watch it because I do give um, my reasons why I use sphagnum moss and not bark or um, any other media really. So, you guys can see. Yeah, you guys can see. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put a um, light layer on the bottom, actually. I think this is too much. We'll see. Um, let's see. And I want to leave this uh, new growth in the middle. Um, just because it is going to end up growing more. And if it puts out a flower spike, I don't want it to get crushed with the side of the pot if I repot it like this. So it is going to go towards the center. But not really, um, you know, this one really tight to the pot or really close to the pot. Just in case this old bulb wants to put another growth up this season but I doubt it but you know we're just going to um we're just gonna leave a little bit space either way so yeah I'm actually I'm filling um I'm actually filling up the the hole that the packing peanuts made just so there's like no empty like hole where the asthma coke can just um, slip by, I guess. So. Yeah, and this is so the, um, the Hauserman Sphagnum Moss. I haven't bought, um, the New Zealand, New Zealand Sphagnum Moss yet. I will have to, though, because, um, I wanted to have it just in case, um, it's time to, um, repot the other ones. So, yeah, that's good enough. I'm actually going to open this up and I really don't know how much to use um, I 
So right now I'm pouring some on the cap, but some of the little balls are falling on my lap and on the ground, on my floor. Okay, so I'm going to be putting, um, oh my god, I always drop orchids on my videos, but I'm going to be putting about this much. I don't know if that's too much, but um, they're heavy feeders, so I'll just leave it like that. It is time release, so it's not going to be all released at the same time. <laughs> so... I'm just removing all the twigs because I did say that this one has too many twigs or little pieces of, I don't know, like wood or something. So I, I don't like that. That's why I like the New Zealand one better because that one's already ready to use. All you have to do is soak it and use it. So I'm just going to be putting that one around and... Yeah, I put about, I guess, half. Yeah, half. And then the other half is going to go on top, like, on the first layer. So. And I'm just going to be lightly packing the the sphagnum moss around it. Just because I don't want to crush any or break any of the, any of the roots. So I'm really excited for this season with um, catacetum orchids because it is my first season, my uh, first, I guess, growing season. Just because I did, um, this is, I guess, going to be my second year growing orchids. I guess mid-January uh, mid or February is when I started growing orchids. So my anniversary is coming up <laughs> with orchids. So really nice um okay actually yeah and I think I soaked up too much um sphagnum moss so I'm actually going to put some right here right behind the bulb because I didn't put any and I don't want it to really wobble that's why I left a few old roots of this bulb so it can kind of stabilize the um, the orchid more. I realized that when I cut all the way, all the roots away from the both of the um, witchcrafts, the Millennium Magic witchcrafts, I realized that I cut all the roots out, and it really was not going to be. I wasn't going to be able to stabilize the orchids without um, without a stake or something. And I really don't want to. I don't want to tie it to uh I don't want to tie the bulb to something just because if it does get like a little um I want the bulbs to say how they are I don't want them to get any deformities basically <laughs> so yeah this is pretty good let's see I'm just gonna put the the rest of what's on my desk I'm just gonna put it here and I'm going to be putting the rest of the um, Osmo coat on top I'm putting it all around the pot because I don't want it all like in one concentrated area. So I think that's enough. Well, there's only two left, so I'll just pour them here. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know if this is too much or not, but, you know, I'm just going to leave it like that because... Because it's going to need fertilizer, so... Hopefully it is not too much and I didn't just burn away the roots, or the future roots, <laughs> when I first, um, actually water it. So yeah, I'm not going to be watering yet. I'm going to be spraying the right here, the rim of the pot, just slightly, just so I can get some type of, like, water in there. Or, not in there, but you know... Just like a bit, just a tiny bit, you know. <laughs> I don't want to soak it yet. And I will definitely wait until this one is bigger. This growth is bigger so I can start um, fully watering it. I don't know when I'm going to start fully watering it. It might be until um, 
March. I don't know though. I'll keep you guys updated because I do need to research more on that. Just when to actually start full on watering. So I know we have to start like slowly. We have to um, water like start with spraying and then slowly um, water it until um, until it's like normal watering. And same goes with fertilizing. Like I don't want to fertilize yet the catacetum. So I'm going to be waiting until it's much, much bigger so I can actually fertilize it. So, yeah. Maybe when these little leaves actually start poking out already, maybe that's when I'll start lightly uh, fertilizing. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. This is the first um, catacetum that I have repotted for this season. So I'm excited to see what this season has for me, and I'm excited to see what this season has for the rest of you too. Um, yeah, and I always love seeing like the pictures and like the flowers of what people post on Orcaholics Anonymous or like any other orchid group that I'm in because it makes me it makes me um, inspired or inspires me that one day. I'm going to reach a level with my orchids. So, yeah. I'm just going to cut off this video right here because it's going to turn out to be really long. So, yeah. Just sphagnum moss I used. Uh, no bark. Just watch the video if you want to see why I didn't use like Lego pebbles or um, ceramics or any other of those, those things. Um, but yeah, if you guys did like the video... Please leave a like, comment on any future videos you guys want me to do, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys.